Good evening, morning, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is where you are right now. I am Leth, and I'm here to cast a game that I was sent by my uh, boss manager, of course, the god himself, Saber, for an ASL Patreon request. This is a gold league game, and the requester is the man you see speaking on the screen, but not the one I'm looking at. It is a ZVZ, and the player for whom this replay is being cast, representing terrifying through teamwork, Triple T, it is a Shaden. Oh yes. And his opponent across the map, representing rebels in red, it's Julian Assange. Who is either not Julian Assange, or is but cannot spell his own name. We don't know. We don't know at this point. The only thing we do know is that uh, these two players, both Zerg, both going to be playing on one of the most popular maps of the uh, time when this was recorded, and indeed, possibly even of all time, going to be Overgrowth. Overgrowth, an interesting map for ZVZ. You see a lot of very uh, variations within the matchup. You see uh, Mutaplay, you see Roach play, you see fast expansions, and at this point, it's looking like both the players going for not at least the most aggressive play, but leaning more towards that expansion side of things, or perhaps a gas play once they get towards 14. Julian Assang, now thinking about it, but he's banked up a lot of money. We see already a lot of money banked up for him. So more likely to be leaning towards towards an expansion, uh, or a pool. Could be a pool. Nope, not looking like a pool. Or he's late. This is a Gold League game, of course, so we maybe aren't going to be expecting this kind of crisp timings you'd see out of Jadong himself. But I'm looking forward to a game that the, uh, the Dong would be proud of. And everyone wants to make the Dong proud. I mean, even as a Protoss player myself, I want to make the Dong proud. I feel a little bit embarrassed sometimes when I'm, I'm learning into ladder games. It's just the way. So it's Shaden. Going for the hatch a little bit behind his opponent, Asang, Julian Asang getting his down a couple of seconds earlier. And in getting down this faster hatchery, both the players show that they aren't trying to be aggressive straight out. They're just going to keep things on the back foot, on the back burner. And perhaps this is a sign that they aren't totally confident in their Ling Bane micro just yet. Oh, fast. That is very unusual. Uh, very, very quick third base coming out for Julian Asang, actually. Um, so he's trying, this is basically, this is almost a cheese at this point. Going for this fast, this greedy of a third base, three hatch before pool in ZVZ on overgrowth, not even on Nimbus, a big macro map. This is macro cheese of one of the ballsiest orders, and I like it. I love that this is what he's going for, and I really want to look forward to see what it is that Shen does to punish this, because in going for a, a more standard opening, going for the hatchery, following it up with a pool, of course, in his main. No gas as yet, so he's not going to have speed, which will allow him to defend or attack. In this case, more likely to be attacked. Oh, that's what he's up to. Crafty, crafty man. So both of these players putting down... Um, disproportionate number of hatcheries for the time of the game that you would expect to see a Zerg player with a third base uh, coming up. Obviously the natural finishing for both of these guys, and the third is almost complete for Julian Assange, so he's going to be trying to hold this proxy hatchery, which has not been scouted by him yet, of course. Uh, no overlords in position to scout this. Uh, Shaden, with really good map vision actually, able to see pretty much all the attack paths, but Assange has got the ones that matter, the ones that lead towards his bases, and the only one he's missing is this route. So if Lings were to harass his third base, he would not be able to do anything. He wouldn't be able to defend this. Instead, however, uh, Shaden getting a couple of drones, getting a Roach Warren, and now building his queens to go into macro mode, because he knows, he smells the timing. Getting that gas as well to fuel the Roaches is going to allow him to deal some damage early on, probably out of this macro hatch. And it's kind of what you'd expect. But in an ordinary game... You don't, you, you like, as a Protoss or a Terran, you see creep coming out of the corner, right? And you go, there's creep coming out of the corner, I don't put down creep, I'm pretty sure there's a hatchery there. Julian Assange actually has to notice that there's creep in an unusual location in his base, and that's a bit funky. I'm wondering if and when he's going to clock that, because he hasn't seen it with any of his units yet. And indeed, in scouting the main base, all he sees is that his opponent is going straight towards roaches. It's, it's very unusual. Um... In sending that drone in, of course, misses the roaches with that, and he does see very few drones. So he might be able to work out that something funny is going on there, but as it stands, no reaction, no response out of our red zerg in the top. Just getting speed now, and that, of course, whilst a little bit helpful, isn't the greatest thing in the world in defending against a roach attack. These links out on the map will be shut down fairly effectively as soon as the roach army reaches any kind of decent size. But right now, there are only two of them chasing away that force of Assange, so uh, losing two links there for nothing as well. Here they come. 
Gonna try and try and pick off roaches, but this is an inadvisable fight, especially if that queen comes in. Actually, you know what, he's trading reasonably effectively, but I think the Roach Queen Force is going to be able to win out. Roach is just too tanky, absorbing too much damage, but a counter-attack from a Shaden, pushing into the main base, forcing a drone evacuation, pulling towards the third base now, with that Queen coming in. And already the attack is going towards the natural, pulling now back into the main, with more reinforcements will be coming in from this base in short order. But a lot of Lings being pumped out by a Sanjin in an attempt to hold this. The Queen is in a great position to deal with them, and the Roaches are going to be full, forced to pull back to the hatch. Of course, a Sanjin sees this now, so he knows exactly what is going down in that regard. He knows that his opponent has pulled off a cunning and sneaky tactic, the like of which ZVZ has never seen, and I feel certain that these players lived up to my blessing. The Dong would be very impressed with this kind of play. So, the Roaches are going to be pushing towards another huge wave coming out of that proxy hatchery, now going to be taking down even that, uh, if they focus down the pool, then Assange isn't going to, even going to be able to make any units. There's going to be nothing left for him. He hasn't got a Roach Warren, just Overlords and a base replacement spawning pool being built behind the third base but I think perhaps a little bit too late as his waves of reinforcement are stunted and crippled already by this point although Ashaden is not focusing it down now finally being killed off but the main base is forfeit there is a pack of lings with speed here but there's too many roaches for that there's no way that those uh, those lings can engage the roaches successfully or at least not very successfully if they just get one on its own they might be able to that main base almost clear now except for uh, a single gas and the roach force is going to push down to kill it off back across the map a shaden i mean he's he's basically all in with this attack but he's hitting a really hard timing with this just going to come across absolutely cripple Assange, so even if uh, he somehow manages to hold this, and I don't think there's much chance of him doing so, but even if this force is somehow held, one base Zerg versus effectively a two base Zerg, these Lings are going to try and kill the hatchery, but they can't get through the Queen Wall, so even though the edge is lost there for a shade in the macro edge, this counter-attack is a last-ditch attempt out of Julian Assange, and the Roaches are going to push towards the third. They know it's there, they saw where the drones were running, he's going to push over, he's going to kill off this little pack of four drones, they thought that they could escape by hiding off the creek, but they were wrong. Now spine crawlers coming down again a little bit late out of the red zone. An emergency lair being morphed. That is a brave move, but GG is called. And that will leave Ashaden as the victor of this game. Congratulations, Ashaden.